Hi everybody, this is Alice Bejeweled Hedgehog um, here for another vlog. <sighs> Sorry it's been a while since I've done a vlog. I have been really, really busy and really, really tired and I've gotten behind in, again, just about everything. But anyway, um, today was my oldest niece's 15th birthday. Wow, I just cannot believe it. My baby is 15, and she's already looked up how soon she can get her learner's permit. In nine months, she qualifies for her learner's permit. <sighs> Do they let people who just recently wore diapers drive? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just here to give a quick update. Book club, um, Bruno, wonderful Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Um, does the Facebook page and he um, has the official list up now and ready to go and um, the first book we're reading and we're starting next week will be the five people you meet in heaven and um, I'm really excited about it um, I think mine is going to come tomorrow I got mine used from Amazon so um, I'm really looking forward to it. If anyone has any questions, um, you can leave questions on the Facebook page. You can leave questions for me if you want to in the comment box down below. Um, I guess what we kind of need to do is get a consensus on how we want to share our thoughts about the books. Um, do we want to just comment on the Facebook page? Do we want to do it on YouTube? Uh, do we want to have a certain day where we just all make comments? I know not everybody who's in the book club does YouTube, which is fine. I guess we can just kind of do a combination. You know, if you feel like um, doing it through comments or if you are more comfortable um, talking about it. So um, let me know and, you know, uh, or let Bruno know, whatever. Um, and we, because we'll be starting next week. Anyway, I am tired. Um, I had wanted to give my niece two ponchos that I made, um, a keepsake box that I made, and a purchase book. And I gave her one poncho that was finished and the purchase book. The second poncho and the keepsake box, I just didn't have time to finish. So I took photos of the um, finished poncho, and I will show them on my next cast-off crew, which is not going to be this week, because really the only thing I finished was one poncho. I did get a good start on the second poncho. Let me hold this up. Um, and uh, I rolled it into a tight little roll and set it down, and now it's all jumbled up. But, you know, this is the, what I've got done so far on the second one, the dressy one. And, oh, my crochet hook is sticking out there. Anyway, um, this, you know, you've got an idea of what it looks like. So, um, yeah, hopefully by next Tuesday, this one will be finished, photographed, and delivered to my niece, and I will be, and along with the keepsake box, um, I will have the keepsake box for my second niece done. Uh, a birthday poncho, a Mother's Day poncho. Anyway, I'm not even stressing anymore. I have just gotten so busy and so tired, and that's just the way things are sometimes. As for my car search, I am so, uh, I'm just so amazed. Um, I got, you know, lots of good advice on car buying. And um, the, the hilarious thing was, we wanted to go on Sunday, but there's this one huge car park thing, you know, that has a bunch of different dealers in it, not too far from, from me. And for whatever re inexplicable reason, it was closed on Sunday. So we tried to reschedule it, and basically we have come up with, we both think we can get a pretty early start tomorrow, you know, um, maybe late afternoon and um, my brother-in-law who is going with me and we are going to go and try and cram all that in tomorrow uh, the test driving 
tomorrow afternoon and evening and he found another car to add to my list of things to look at something I'd never even considered before and that was or is the Ford Focus and um, I want a hatchback and it comes in hatchback but what the feature that got him interested is the auto park feature I don't know how well it works I will put a link below to the YouTube demo that I saw that looks like magic now my oldest niece calls it creepy <laughs> I call it magic I hate parallel parking parallel parking is a serious pain in the butt. I don't do it well. I don't do it quickly. And it really distra distracts me. It's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but it is less traumatic to do it on a side street where I can just focus on the parking. But if I'm trying to do it and there's traffic coming and going and I'm trying to pay attention, making sure when I'm doing all the wiggling and adjusting to try and get into the nasty little spot that I somehow don't get whacked by another car, I just don't parallel park. In fact, I have a tendency when I know that I have to go somewhere where there is going to have to be street parking, if I can't metro it, I just don't go. I mean, it's, it's really that simple. I just get that aggravated with it. So if this little gizmo really works, um, I will have a much, much, much broader capacity to go places. And um, so, you know, we will see. I will let you guys know. Uh, the demo makes it look like magic. Apparently you can press some kind of button on the console indicating that you're looking for a space and it pings out with some little sonar ray waves or something. And when it locates a space, it lets you know. And then you can press another button saying that you want to take that space. And then, according to the little video demo that I watched, you take your hands off the wheel. Now, you control the gas and the brake, obviously. Um, but you take your hands off the wheel, and with all its elaborate little array of sensors, it just manipulates you into the space. Wow. I failed my driver's test three times because of parallel parking. And I told them it was ridiculous because I would never voluntarily parallel park again in my life. And I really don't. But I live right near DC. I mean, so many of the places that I go really don't have any other options other than either the incredibly overpriced, and I mean seriously overpriced, you can pay $20 to park your freaking car for a couple of hours. Um, you know, the, the parking lot or garage parking or street parking. Anyway, I'm rambling because I am so, so, so tired. Um, so that's it. I'm, I'm hoping it works. I have no clue if it will. It'll be fun to see tomorrow, and hopefully I will be a little less tired. Ha, 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 ha. Um, and I will make a coherent vlog and let everyone know. Um, quick update. I'll get into more detail um, later, but... My cousin is doing better. Um, she has an appointment to see um, a psychiatrist next week, and um, I'm, you know, I'm hopeful, but I'm wary. And I know that, um, you know, I, I know that when, when there is is mental illness and a lot of stress and and you know strain, that there's there's a limit to what you can do for somebody else. So I'm not going to get. I'm doing my best to set boundaries and make sure that I don't get too wrapped up in things. And I'm just too tired to make that thought you know, really work. I wanted to do a couple of quick book reviews, but I didn't bring the books over here with me. Um, I will save those for tomorrow night, too. I just wanted to say hi, everybody. I have missed you so much. Um, Let's see, I did my book club reminder. Oh, I started in on this book. I am reading this book, and it is fabulous. This was recommended by one of my um, subscribers. And uh, it's, it's basically about a family who decides to take one year and move to a farm and live eating foods that either they grow or that are grown locally 
and um, take themselves out of this huge commercial food chain. And I have not gotten very far in it. I have just started it. But it's written in a really light and humorous and engaging style. And one of the first things she mentions, which I think is actually very funny, um, talking about how you know, young kids today have probably, it's less likely that they have seen the, the growth cycle of a plant from you put a seed in the, ground, in the ground, you watch a plant come up, you watch it bloom, and then you watch it go to seed again. As they have just seen, for instance, an ever-changing um, scenario of now you have pansies, now you have petunias, now you have begonias, and you just come in each day, whether it's, you know, the landscaper in your, your park, your apartment complex, your, your neighborhood landscapers, and they just replace one plant that's about to go with another. So really, many kids have really not seen the growth cycle. They just think that plants may evolve. A pansy becomes a petunia, becomes a begonia. Nothing ever grows, nothing ever dies. It just, just changes. And then, of course, when it gets very cold, it becomes ornamental cabbage for a while. <laughs> so, yeah, love the book. Absolutely love it. Um, Barbara Kingsolver is the author. Um, Animal Vegetable Miracle is the title of the book, and I will do a more complete review when I have gotten um, further into, into it. Um, this is it for me. I am really too tired. I don't have much crocheting to show. Um, I've got to stop doing things so late at night. Um, I think what happens is, you know, if, if I get busy with something and I don't really, and I don't have a lot of time, um, I keep doing things later and later. I mean, my, my grocery store is open till midnight, so I have this terrible habit of um, just doing late shopping and, and just, eh. Anyway, almost 11. Upload the video. Um, want to take a quick peek at Andy Believes because um, I think she might be showing the journal that I made for my niece. And hopefully, after all the car stuff is over tomorrow, I can sit back and catch up on everybody. Miss you all so much. Um, too tired to know what to say. Oh, Kathy, I want to do your tea response. I hope it's not too late. I have not forgotten. I Well, actually, I mean, I thought of it, but then when it comes, when there's... Oh boy. Okay, I think of it when it is not a convenient time to make a vlog, and then when it is a convenient time to make a vlog, I'm either too tired or I'm not here or whatever. So, ha, huh, I'm here. Anyway, everybody, have a very good night. Bye.